celebrating your enemy, however much we may despise his motives. The courage of France rises above adversity. Monsieur Renault strengthens his government with new blood, men imbued with his own spirit of invincible determination. Undeterred by the havoc which has battered down the walls of noble cities, which has violated the sanctuary of hallowed churches, which churns up the resting places of the dead, the French poilu, like the statue of his predecessor, stands erect among the ruins. Pathetic creatures haunt the wreckage. and other sights too grim to show you. Those, you must imagine, for all this destruction is not wrought without appalling loss of civilian life. Through the village trundle French anti-aircraft units. Overhead fly enemy bombers. And another plane is among those missing, which the German communiques are at pains not to count too carefully. Prisoners are brought in too. One man jumped from that shattered plane. They're ushered into lorries to be transported to the rear and in the blistering heat, they're glad of the drinking water which their French captors provide. Another German casualty, an armoured car belonging to one of those motorised divisions which have been the spearhead of the enemy's attack. France's own tanks have proved themselves great fighters, advancing to counter-attack as the valiant armies of General Végon put up a heroic resistance. In this grim struggle, which is literally for her life, it has been ordained by fate that France must fight without the substantial support of the former BEF. But, as Mr. Churchill has written to Monsieur Renault, new British units are coming to help, and here's the evidence. British tanks moving up through villages of Normandy to oppose the advancing Germans. Britain, although faced by the threat of direct attack from the Channel ports, will not stint her assistance to her ally. As quickly as they can be equipped, British troops will resume their place on French soil to reinforce with their cheerful valour the courage of France. Investiture at Buckingham Palace. Admi Admi